Okay, hello guys. Um, in this video I want to show you how you can start with the Zigberry board and use one of the reference designs from the Trends website to get your board up and running. For me I have the TEO726 revision 3 board and uh, the exact uh, model number which you have uh, is written on the box you got you got the board with. So yeah, first first of all what we're going to connect to the board is actually only the USB cable, the micro USB cable, and if you flip that board over, the micro SD card. So the first step is to Google for the Zincberry and go to the Trends website. And here you can see under Resources the reference designs. Click on it, and now you can see several designs that they offer to test your Zincberry board. They have several de demo designs, but I will use this reference design, TEO627 test board. Click on it, and if you go to download, you can actually download this design. And here the bottom link is the test board reference design with all the pre-built files that I can use. So once you have downloaded the zip file, you extract, extract it and open up the, the root directory of the test board design. In the pre-built folder you can see the files that are necessary to directly start with the Thinkberry without building anything yourselves. The boot bin is important. And if you go back for for Peter Linux, the image UB and the boot script also important for the SD card. Okay, to find out which uh, version you've got, you can search for your specific mon model number, and you will find what variant uh, you have. So here, the first step would be to use the script. To open up Vivado and choose the right board. Okay, first mistake: do not extract your project uh, onto the desktop. That's not a good idea, actually, because the pass would be too long of this directory. So we open the script, select zero to choose our board. For me, I have the TEO seven two six O three M. Um, you can find that product ID, as I said, on the package um, that came with the board. Okay, I select 3, enter yes. I want to use this device. I want to create the Vivado project. Okay, all the following steps and everything I did so far can also be seen here in the test board description on the trans, trans website. So we scroll down to launch and we also did these steps, run the script, selected our board and build the Vivado project. So we want to use the QSPI boot mode and flash the boot bin file onto our QSPI flash on the Zincberry and copy these two files, image UB and boot script, onto the SD card. So I connected my Zincberry board with the micro USB cable onto the USB port on my PC. So that establishes the JTAG connection. And I can see my board powered up and showed some LED blinking. We have opened the Vivado project and now we can type this command in the TCL console in Vivado to flash our QSBI flash that is located on the Syncberry board with the bootbin file 
that is also located um, in the testbot directory under pre-built boot images. And for me, it's this folder, uboot bootbin. This file now gets flashed onto the QSPI flash on my ZigBerry if I enter this command. You can also open up the help or find more out about it. For now, I just use this command. Press enter and the script will do everything for you. So now the flash was successfully flashed. If this step does not work and throw some errors, you could try to program your flash manually by right clicking on the memory QSPI flash device and click program configuration memory device and selecting the right file you want to flash and the right FSBL for the flash process. You could also use uh, try to use a different FSBL if the other one doesn't work properly. It could also be the case that you worked with your device with older Vivado versions and cannot use newer versions like Mi 2020 or 2021. Then you gotta go back to your old version uh, that, that you flashed your zinc with, your flash and delete it with that version and then you can come back to your to the new Vivado version and try to flash the QSPI flash again. Okay, I hope that <laughs> is not too confusing. Now that we have flashed the QSPI flash, we're going to copy the two two files from the pre-built OS, Petalinux, image UB and boot script onto the SD card that we later put into our Zinkberry in this slot. Okay, I've done that already. I copied both of them onto my SD card and plugged it into my Zinkberry board. Next thing is I open up a serial communicator like, like Putty. I have opened here and connected um, to my board. I want to show you that again. I select serial connection. By the way, this is a free software you can download from Google. Uh, select the right COM port. You can find the COM port under device manager. You select the right speed and for Zinc devices uh, on from, this, uh, from the transport, is, uh, most often it's this speed. 115200 for Zinc devices. Serial connection and I click open. Now the serial con uh, communicator is connected to my Zincberry board and I unplug my board again and plug it in again and click restart session. Oh wait. Uh, I try to connect again. And here you can see my board is booting up Linux. Yeah, and everything works as expected. So you can, of course, um, build everything yourself. And a lot of that step, uh, these steps that are necessary to build this design are explained here. How you can um, actually build the Vivado project, build a boot bin, and Im Im imagery in a Petalinux project. But this is uh, a lot more that can be talked about. Okay, here my, you can see my um, Petal Linux has booted up. And the password is always root, root. And now I'm in. And if I had um, connected Ethernet cable to my Zincberry, I could actually um, see uh, an IP. But there's nothing here. 
just uh, Linux boot it up. Okay, thanks for watching.